I tested hundreds of my ChatGPTs, from simple ones to the most complex, and I did find a few interesting ones. Let me show you what these GPTs are really capable of. If you're new here, my GPTs are like custom versions of the ChatGPT created by people for their specific needs. And you too can create your own by training them with specific data or topics you like. We've made a complete step-by-step -step guide to creating such custom GPTs, so be sure to check it out first. ChatGPT is all about text. Now it can do many more things, but everything still revolves around text. And despite it being able to write like a pro, that rarely helps humans write better. People rely on ChatGPT to write stuff for them, and even creative writers slowly start embracing it. That needs to change. So the first GPT will teach us how to write. Creative writing coach. Coach that's gonna analyze your text, give feedback, advice, and so on. I will upload the script for one of our recent videos and ask GPT to give feedback. I will also specify my goal so that it knows better what to put an emphasis on. And this feedback is really, really useful. It highlights good stuff, explains why, and gives suggestions on how to improve writing. And it even rated my script four stars out of five. Now I'm gonna ask what I need to change, just to be sure, to which it gives me 10 points to pay attention to. Even at this point, all the information is really useful and helpful, but I believe we can take it a bit further. Let's ask it to show me these changes in one of the paragraphs. And look, here is the original paragraph paragraph and an improved one. The improved paragraph is much more creative and talkative. It has much more character and expressions than before. It's important to understand that this GPT is more tailored to working with creative texts like essays or novels, so the spin it gives is quite unusual, not something you will hear from a regular person. Just for a good measure, I will ask what it can do. It can give advice, help with character development and plot development, assist in world building, dialogue writing, and much more. More. This is a perfect tool for everyone who's writing their new American novel and needs some guidance. Definitely recommend. Text is not the only area where GPTs can help. For example, I found a GPT dedicated to fashion and style. It's called Fashion Mentor and it's supposed to help us dress nicely. So how should we dress in summer 2024? Lightweight fabrics, bright and light colors, layering and so on. These all are quite good and timeless pieces of advice. Now let's do something different and upload an image of a badly dressed dressed person. I will also ask for an image of how this man should be dressed in winter. The results are good but not perfect. I asked for free images and got only one and there was no analysis done to the image. So let me rephrase my request. And now the results are much more accurate. The GPT managed to identify the clothing on the person and for each element it gave advice on how to replace the item for a better look. I think this GPT will be extremely useful for anyone who tries to update their wardrobe but don't know where to start, which style to choose. Instead of going to the shop and trying on different styles, it's much easier to ask AI for guidance and with reference images, go to the shop and buy only the necessary stuff. It can save time and money to win-win. Now let's take a quick break and talk about this video sponsor, Shortform. Shortform is a cutting edge book guide service that radically transforms how you approach learning. What sets it apart from competitors is its diverse context, a wide array of content and efficient AI technology. Technology. If your interests span from self-improvement to science to business, Shortform covers all genres. It enables easy exploration of complicated subjects like artificial intelligence, machine learning, and data analytics. The service's innovative AI extension lets you summarize web and YouTube content in just one click. Unlike others, it provides not just summary points, but also context and counter arguments for a well-rounded understanding of the topic. Additionally, Shortform ensures credibility by incorporating links for evidence in its summaries. This makes it reliable and easy to fact check. The basic extension is free. However, for an enhanced learning experience, consider upgrading to premium subscription. This unlocks full extension capabilities and gives you access to high quality nonfiction book guides. For efficient and effective learning, short form for Chrome is your ideal tool. And by joining from my link, you will receive a free trial of unlimited access an additional 20% discounted annual subscription. And the link, as always, is in the description. If we take a little step back and talk about productivity again, we inevitably will come to YouTube Summaries GPT. We have tested many plugins that can transcribe videos and give summaries, but there is one common problem with all of them. They are pretty limited. You have to turn on the plugin, paste a link, and expect it to do the job. And to do any alterations or improvements to the text, you have to copy and paste it into separate 
for chat. With this GPT, I can just ask AI to summarize the video and get a complete rundown of everything the video covers. And as a person who made the video, I can confirm that all of the information is correct and accurate. I can also ask for bullet points, making it even easier to digest the information. This GPT can also answer questions, identify key themes and topics, assist in content creation and so on. I can just ask about certain parts of a video and get a step-by-step -step guide to then product photography. I think it's the easiest way to research videos. Now let me turn into my creative side. For this, I prepared two different but somewhat similar GPTs. The first one is called Image Copy Machine. The description says that it replicates and creatively reinterprets images. Let's upload an image of a cat and ask for a prompt for generating such a picture. Surprisingly, on the first try, this GPT wasn't able to do what I wanted, but it created a really nice image of a cat that looks really photorealistic. It obviously uses Dolly to generate images, but that is a good thing. We actually made a video where we compared the Dolly to other image generators and tested all its strengths, so be sure to give it a watch. Now let me ask for a prompt in a more persuasive manner. And there you go, there is a prompt I was looking for. This prompt means that AI is capable of analyzing the image, which can be especially useful in something like product photography or creating illustrations. Now let's do something really simple and ask for a variation of the uploaded image in black and white noir. And you know what? I do like this image very much. It's very stylish and looks really good. So yeah, if you work with photos and images, this GPT is for you. For the second GPT, I chose a bit simpler tool. This one can create photorealistic photos that look like they've uh, come straight from National Geographic magazines. I must say before you see the results that this is a really difficult style to pull off, simply because of how detailed and perfectly framed these photos usually are. So with that said, let's ask for a photorealistic image of a pack of zebras running across savannah, chased by lions, shot from a helicopter. Again, this is a complex request, but as you can see, it's a piece of cake for this GPT. And the style is basically spot on. Now let's ask for a random image of a hummingbird. I've used the wrong word on purpose, just for extra difficulty. And the results are... I'm not gonna say anything, just look at it. It looks absolutely gorgeous, the amount of detail and quality. This is mighty impressive, if you ask me. And with this, I think with this GPT, National Geographic can fire all their photographers. If you need some more useful suggestions, I have just the thing. Best custom GPTs is created for one purpose only, search and suggest GPTs. Instead of doing research manually and sifting through thousands of custom GPTs, I can just ask, for example, for five best GPTs for digital artists. This GPT will do its research, search for database, and find the best ones. Each one will have a description of what it does and a link that I can click on and go straight straight to the page of that GPT. I must say, I wish I had found this GPT earlier. It would have made creating this video so much easier. Anyway, I can also explain myself and my goals to GPT, and it will suggest tools that can do exactly what I need. Here I am impersonating an SEO specialist looking for tools to rewrite content. And all of these five suggestions are viable options. I do like how much easier it is to search for GPTs this way, than search in Google, read countless articles filled with ads and try everything manually, but let's do one more thing and ask for 10 favorite GPTs, and this selection is quite varied and functional. From GPT that finds GPTs to generate invoice and design critique, I might save some of these for the next video, so stay tuned. If I need more, I can always ask for more. The total number of GPTs in the database is around 22 and a half thousand, so I can ask for new selections almost endlessly. But all that is pretty serious and productive stuff, however, However, how about something light and fun? Simpsonize Me is trained on countless snapshots from Simpsons and can turn any photo into Simpsons style. I will upload my picture and hope for the best. The first result isn't really that accurate, but that's something I've grown to expect from AI image generation. Let's ask for a full body character. And this one looks more like it, especially the face. I think it's a fun way to create stickers or simple artwork. And I hope that with updates, the quality of image generation and accuracy will only get better. My GPTs are a very useful and fun feature of ChatGPT, and if you're not using one, do it right now. Create your own, tailored to your needs, or try any one of thousands made by other people. Follow our guide to create your custom GPT, and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, and see you in the next one.